Welcome to Self-Driving Cars with Ducky Town. Uh, this is the first lecture, and I would like to give you an introduction to what are the guiding concepts that we used in setting up the class and how the content is developed. Um, first of all, um, when I think of my very first exposure to robotics as being probably some science fiction book or some science fiction movie like Star Wars or the like, my children's first exposure to robotics has been the robot vacuuming our living room floor. Um, as we know, nowadays we have robots vacuuming our floors, taking care of our lawns, building our cars, sometimes driving our cars. Um, so robots are everywhere and robots will have more and more of a big impact in our lives. Robotics is also a great multidisciplinary field where many topics come together from hardware to software, perception, control, planning, a lot of big questions like um, safety um, or ethics also come into play. So this is something that is much more than just a cool new technology, uh, but it's something that is very um, um, you know, intellectually uh, deep uh, and is something that will have a big impact in our life. Uh, what makes this class special? Um, well, this class is really a work of love from a group of very passionate people who have been working on robotics from the academic side and in industry pushing the state of the art for many years. We designed the class to be very applied, uh, where, we, um, where we encourage you to build your own robot and, and, uh, and make it work uh, in your home. Um, but you will see that it's also a very intellectually deep class. What do I mean by intellectually deep? I don't mean complicated. I'm not thinking about complicated uh, theory. I'm not thinking about difficult math. What I'm thinking here is intellectually deep as in how deep the rabbit hole goes. Um, so we will ask a lot of fundamental uh, difficult questions. We will look at what are all the fundamental problems in the field and try to give you an answer and try to give you the tools to make up your own answer. So um, why DuckyBots? Uh, well, ideally, we would all like to work on uh, real self-driving cars, but uh, self-driving cars are expensive and it's hard to work on it. So what we decided is to work on a small car uh, that, you, that you can work on in, on your desk and you can run in your living room. Uh, but still, these, uh, these, these ducky boats are a good abstraction of what a real self-driving car uh, is. The key point here is that in order to become a good roboticist, you had to experience firsthand the pain of working with a physical embodied platform. Now, what makes robotics difficult is exactly the difference between the theory of the ideal world of algorithms and the reality of the physical world of robots. Um, the way that we designed the class is actually as a well-rounded introduction to the field of robotics. And this is based on what we have seen are all the modules and teams that actually compose the code base and the engineering team for a real self-driving car. And we will discuss topics uh, in relation to what is actually used in reality. You will see that some of the materials are based on very well-developed traditional techniques. Some of the material is actually based more on uh, recent developments. Uh, we will have a model-based part as well as a part that is based on more on machine learning, on what is called nowadays uh, artificial intelligence. And for all of these components, we will discuss their advantages as well as their limitations and disadvantages. So this class is a challenge for everybody. This will be a challenge for you. Uh, this will be a challenge for us to offer uh, because so many things go into robotics that nobody can be an expert at all of them. Still, I hope that you will accept the challenge and help us create the robots of the future. So I encourage you to take the red pill and I will see you on the other side of the ducky hole.